Hello and welcome at another video about the Korg wave state. In this video we are going to create a performance where we are going to use four layers to create the song Mama Gamma from Alan Parsons project. So let's start. Um, first let's start with the baseline. The baseline is really easy. So let's load up an init performance. Let's do that. So now we have the famous starting point. And let's create the bass line. And the bass line is basically something like this. So it's an octave bass line. Let's go to the wave sequence tab and set it to tempo mode. And we are running on um, 120 BPM. So let's uh, enter that one. So now we have set it to 120 BPM and let's create a baseline. So the standard timing of 1.8 is uh, perfectly fine. And let's remove the first slot because we only need one sample for this. So let's select the bass sound for this. It's in synth category and let's select this one. Syn, bass, lead, moog, resonant 2. So now we have the baseline. But we need to say to the uh, layer A that it has to play that uh, bass line. So it's an octave bass, so we set this, uh, the second pitch to 12. So now it's basically doing that, but uh, it instantly goes to the plus 12. And that's because the first slot has a crossfading uh, on top of it. So let's remove the crossfading. So now we recreated uh, that bass line. So let's set up the zone and scales so that we can use the upper part of the keyboard for the uh, melody. So um, let's get it down to, for instance, the, this C. We don't want that C. C3 we don't want, so set it to B2. Then we can use that keyboard for the bass line. So now we are done with that. And we are going to program the melody line on the second layer. So set that one to C3. So now we have split the keyboard in two. So let's set up the layer two. And in layer B, we are going to do the same. Set the first slot to gate mode so that it's an uh, ordinary subtractive synth. Uh, we don't need the second step and remove one of the sample slots and we are going to select the same sample. So go to here, press the synth category and select that same bass lead Moog Rest 2 sample again. Um, now basically this is what we are going to use on top of the keyboard. So that's basically the sound we are going to use. And I like to play it a little bit higher. So set the octave to minus one. Now I can play it over here instead of over here. So let's use an envelope on top of that uh, sound. And we are going to use a two pole LP for that. Uh, set the filter envelope for that and create the filter from a specific attack to zero sustain. And the release can be, can be the same. And now we can tailor the, the bass sound of the melody sound uh, with the uh, decay knob. So let's set it for here. That's good for now. If this goes way too quickly for you, then check my other tutorials. There I go over all these principles in a very slow pace. This is more an insight to what kind of tricks are needed to get that sound uh, correctly. 
we need a delay on top of that. So let's go to the insert effects and set a delay. And we are going to use a stereo cross delay for that. And we don't want a dotted delay, but we are going to use the default 1814 low pass delay for that. So, and we are going to create a little bit more or a wet dry signal. And we are going to up the feedback. Because the melody effect is done with a long feedback. Yeah. So let's activate layer A again. That's good. We are going to use a little bit of reverb to blend it, but we don't want the bass uh, in that reverb. So uh, set the crossover to a high value and give it only a little bit of wet dry. But the melody line consists of two notes together. So if we are going to look at the keyboard, now we are only playing that uh, A. But in the original, they play this. So um, we need a second sound for that, that also plays this one. So we know that we are playing the sound here and we need this note too. So we count down one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we need a minus seven for that uh, note to make it correctly. So we can do that. Press this uh, layer and press the right mouse button and say copy layer. Click the C layer and say paste layer. Now we have made a copy of layer B and in this one, we are going to say minus seven so that it transposes automatically that uh, note. So if we play the A now, so that's already a good step in the right direction. And you hear that there is something off in that uh, melody line when you are comparing it to the original. And that is because whenever you play a note below uh, the G, they are starting to transfer to a fifth instead of a minus seven uh, note. So um, when we are going to say not minus seven, but minus five, then the, end, the, the second part of the melody line will sound correctly again. So what they basically are doing is, um, this one is uh, minus one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And when they are here, that is min minus one, two, three, four, five, minus five. So instead of this. So we need to say to the, um, to the wave state that it, whenever we are going below that G note, that it doesn't use the minus seven, but that, that it does use a minus five. So uh, when we are going to use layer C, uh, it's minus five. So that one is already correct. But whenever we are going to play the A, it should do minus seven. So how do we do that? Well, actually that's really easy to do. Uh, we have the mod processor for that. And in a mod processor, we can set the behavior based on the note number. So we are going to select uh, the note number for that in the controller section. And we are going to say whenever it's above that note number, at 100% of the modulation routing that we are going to use. 
So we add a modulation routing on this one and say, hey, use the mod processor one and set it to minus two if it's true. So whenever it's above that threshold, add minus two to that minus seven, minus five. So um, now it's always true. You already see that uh, orange line over here at minus seven. So every note that we play now is a minus seven. But that's not what we want. Um, so we are going to say that whenever we play the G note um, or higher, that it goes to that minus fifth again. So let's play the G note and increase the threshold until we hear that effect. So it's already there. So around 32, 34, it's going to do that, uh, that specific uh, one. So select the, uh, so select the value and enter 34. So now we have it. Whenever we play the A note or higher, it does the minus seven. And when we play below that, does the original minus five. Now it's working correctly for that melody. So the only thing we have to do now is uh, enter a drum for that. So select the drums category and select one of the drums that you like. Um, for instance, the techno heads. Let's see what that does. Yeah, that's okay. Um, copy this step four times because you want to have a kick on the first step. And let's set all the shapes to, yeah, to all on. So increase the uh, loop points of the sample uh, lane and set the first one to the kick that you like. So select the kick category and select, for instance, drum kick dance one. Okay. So you don't hear the kick now, and that's because the gate is connected to that, uh, to something of the modulation routing. So if we set that one to 100, yeah, now you hear the kick again, and um, let's add four slots and set the other ones to 35 around that value. And I also heard a delay on top of that, so let's remove that one. So that's already almost finished. So now we have the master EQ for that. Uh, to emphasize the specific frequencies we want to, uh, yeah, we want to use in this uh, song. So let's do that. So that's basically the song. So and there you have it. So hope this helps and bye for now.